Saint Luke 15. Everybody find it. Say amen. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. Jesus have a message for the world. His message is relevant yesterday, today, and forever. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured. They take on to themselves an occasion of something that have nothing to do with them. Christianity, it's a very hard road to travel. The moment you call yourself Christians, you have been amplified with all kinds of different troubles and tribulations and trials on every single hand. In those days you have scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, and the publicans. Today we've got fighters in the church, backbiters. People have been using the church for an occasion. The love of God is what's old. What's cold? Men's hearts are failing them for fair. We don't care what we do to one another. Our love for one another is gone cold. We are filled with murmurings and sayings. We say all kinds of stuff about the people of God without carefully thinking about it. If I in my heart speak iniquity against my wife, I am not a child of God. If I speak iniquity, bad things against my children, I am not a servant of Jesus Christ. Christianity should not be when you want to feel like a Christian. Christianity, amen, thank you Jesus. Hakoshama. Christianity can literally means being a member of a church. Christianity can also refer to your religion. I am an Islam. They call you a Christian. You are Muslim. They call you Christian. But brother, I'm here to let you know that we are all not the same. Catholics brand themselves as apostolics. Amen. And Protestants brand themselves as Pentecostals. Amen. But it doesn't mean because you say you are Christian, it means that you are Christian. Your life has to be measured up to of him who have called us. And he didn't call us unto another, but he called us, amen, into a faith that is solid, it has solidity, it is, it is real, it is genuine, it's not something that we question, am I in the right church? Christianity can also mean you should shout sometimes, sing on the choir and remain faithful in your given to the church in gifts and finances. According to the dictionary, 
On what a reference materials, Christianity is defined, or Christians are defined as followers of Jesus Christ, or someone who professes believe in Jesus as the Christ. I am wary of the word profess. Because the people who professes Christianity are Christians when they want to. They are Christians on their terms. Our doctrine and principle of the faith taught us to be committed and true to our belief but adversity in life will shift our foundation and change the rejector in our pathway which can be uncomfortable, unbearing as the case may be. These adverse cities transform into temptation misfortune, distress, disaster, and suffering, affliction, sorrow, misery, pain, and trauma. Some people will tell you, oh, I know what you are going through. Oh, you don't know. Amen. When people are faced with adverse situation, amen, it can transform you mentally and physically. When a man is separated from God, amen, he is drawn away by his own lust and his own circumstances. Ladies and gentlemen, when people are faced with these mental and physical situations, they begin to fade in motion. They used to fast and pray but their fasting begin to fade. Amen. Their giving falls off. Their worship fades away. They are not committed anymore. But I could hear Brother David says, as the heart panted of the water brooks, so panted my soul after thee, O God. And he asked the question, when shall I come before thee in thy presence? He said, I have a earning for more of you, God. He said, my, 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 my tears have been my meat both day and night. Amen. There's got to be something inside of you that quickens you and wants you to go on. There's got to, there's got to be some place in life when you've got to just lose it. Amen. And forget about everything around you. Amen. Because I know I am not at the place that I supposed to be. And I got to get down in business. Amen. You got to get down on yourself. Amen. And you got to feel that guilt, that burden, that something that tells me I need to get up. I will arise. Amen. And go back to my father's house. Amen. 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 The prodigal son. The prodigal son is a story that 
lot of churches and everybody dwelt on. And it says in the parable here, what man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he finds it. Jesus came with one mission is to save that which is lost. It doesn't reference to what you look like. Amen. It was not about if you are Jew or you are Greek. Amen. It has nothing to do with if you are rich or whether you are poor. It has nothing in reference to do with, amen, your status. I am an accountant and you are a laborer. Amen. Or you are a V, but vice president or VP or whatever you call yourself. Amen. And I'm from a certain family. Amen. And you're not from this family. He came, period, to save them that are lost. Amen. And if you cannot recognize that he is the I am that I am. He said, I am the good shepherd. Amen. I take you up. Amen. I, hallelujah. 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 Amen. You might feel like all the walls are tumbling down. Amen. When you look around, you're going to see, oh, God of temptation is coming around you. Amen. 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 You don't see to see there is no way out. Hallelujah. There is war on every hand. In front of you, it is impossible. When you look to the right, it is impossible. You look to the left, it is impossible. Oh God. But he says to you today, I am amen, the way and the truth and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me.
portion. I'm a man. I can do this by myself. I'm a man. I got this. I don't need God. I don't need Papa. I don't need Mama. I got this. That's a problem, ladies and gentlemen. If you think you can make it on your own, it's a problem. You need Jesus in the morning. You need Jesus in the night. You need Jesus right now as we speak. Amen. This word, hallelujah, it is like fire shut up in my bone. Amen. His selfishness, let him captivity. He went away and the Bible said he went shopping. He went smoking. Now I'm a big man. I can go smoking. I'm a big woman. I can live the way I want to live. No church can change me. Amen. No baptism can change me. No Holy Ghost can change me. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible. Amen. He was separated. Separation from the family. Hallelujah. Amen. When you're separated from Jesus. Oh, glory to God. You see, let me show you a little thing here. Hallelujah. 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 When you're separated from the family, you don't make no calls home. Amen. You don't communicate with your family. You work. You don't send any money home. You become selfish. Amen. When sin festers, you become, you become selfish. And sin will separate you from God. Amen. Amen. When you are separated, hey, you can't pray no more. Amen. Your power. Yes, Jesus. Speak to me, Lord Jesus. Amen. Your power hit the walls and drop. Hallelujah. Amen. When sin, when sin festers. Amen. All sensuality steps in. Hallelujah. That's what of a thing for the flesh. Yes, brother. Get me another Mercedes Benz. Yeah, yeah, give me another BMW. Yes, I need another new computer. Give me another phone. I want to dress my body up, looking like a prostitute. I just want a man, man from all kinds of region. But the Bible says that there was a lady. Amen. The Bible says, Amen. The woman of Samaria, when she became sensual, hallelujah. The Bible says that she came to Jesus. He said, Master, give me to drink. But you know what? She thought that the water that she was going to get today was the one that she had the other day. When God gets in the picture, she went away singing. And she came back with other folks says, come see a man that can tell you about your you have been doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, you can do your thing in secret. Yes, nobody sees what you are doing. Yes, you can do it in private. Yes, you can sin in private. Yes, you can do all of that. Amen. But there is a bomb Gideon. Yes, he's here to save to the uttermost. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Jesus. Talk to me, Papa. Yes, the prodigal son, he got a spiritual disconnection. Amen. When he shake, it didn't connect to anything. When he spoke in tongues, it didn't connect to anything. Amen. It would be similar to the guy by the name of Samson. When he had lost the anointing, after the lilac trimming down, amen, hallelujah, the lilac take away his praise. The lilac take away his power. The lilac beauty take away his walk with God. Hallelujah. It is a bad thing. Amen. To not know that the presence of the Lord has departed from your presence. I need God in the morning. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. 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 He felt abundant. Abundant was in the play. Yes. The prodigal son began to suffer. Amen. He was suffering. He began to starve because his world ran out. Amen. Then realization steps in. Yes, yes, yes. You don't understand what the Holy Ghost means. You see, when your conscience begins to attack you, amen. I think a praise is coming on. When your conscience begins to attack you, you say how the pastor know that I am doing these things and I have been doing them in private. Nobody knows what I am doing. But ladies and gentlemen, he's in the house. You don't have to call him back. He's in the house. He's gone nowhere. Amen. The angels of the Lord and camp it around them that trust in God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He was seeking for a resolution. Amen. And repentance came in play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, Well, I've been praying and my prayer just hit the walls. He ain't going nowhere. Yes, I fasted and I still cannot feel anything coming from God. Yes, I shout and I clap. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. I praise the Lord. Nothing happens. Amen. I feel like something is not getting connected. Amen. He says, this is it. If you are running out of petrol, amen, you don't go to the dentist. If you are running out of oil, yes, Jesus, speak, Lord. You don't go to your next door restaurant. If you are running out of oil, like the prodigal hair, he was running out dry of oil. His anointing been gone long time ago. Amen. The Holy Ghost been gone a long time ago. Woo! Lord of mercy, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Yes, the Bible says that there was ten virgins, five was, was wise, and five was foolish. Amen. And the wise took oil for their journey. Amen. And they've got the lamps all filled 
went on. But as the journey went on, there were five foolish virgins who took all in their lamps back of summer. But they didn't take any extra oil. And ladies and gentlemen, here they run out of oil. But they say, when I look at the journey to turn back to get some oil, by the time they come back, the door was shut. We are at the point. There is no need for you trying to turn back. My soul has no pleasure in them that draw back into perdition. Keep the fire burning. Amen. If you hear about Jesus, accept him. Amen. If you're in Wake up and live holy for God is holy. Amen. Upon this rock, I'm going to build me a church of holiness. Yeah. For without holiness, no man, no woman, no little girl, no little boy shall see God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yes, with wisdom, ah, the prodigal son become repentant. Amen. When you look around him, his friends forsake him. You've got to be careful as a child of God. The voice you are listening to as a child of God, you gotta be careful of the company that you keep. Amen. Because a friend is hard to find when there is no money in the pocket. A friend is hard to find when your bank account is dry up. A friend is hard. When he himself is looking for hope, Lord of mercy, I heard Job's wife say all that a man will give for his life. Amen. Though he was in sores, he had lost everything. And the closest thing to him was his wife. He had lost his children. He had lost his bank account. Amen. Everything dried up. Sores was all over him. He's got to take, amen, a canker and scrape to find a place on his skin. His fingernails were falling out. Amen. Amen. His joints were separating from each other. He was stink. He could not be recognized. He's got to be separated from human comprehension. Yes. Because when souls have filled you up, Nobody wants you in their company. His wife said, might as well you curse God. Love Jesus. Why won't you give your heart to him? Why, why won't you have something inside your heart for Jesus? Yes. And he said, I will arise and go to my father's house. Yes. And when I said, and when, and when he was a great way off. Yes. His father went to man with an open arm. Yes. He called Shalomahaya and received him 
Jesus' arms is open. You might have committed sin. Amen. You might have committed abomination. There is love in a place today for you. I've got love. So much love. I've got love in my arms. I've got love in my voice. And it says, ladies and gentlemen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. There is love for the lost sheep. Yes, Jesus loves me. This I know. love. His love is a binding love. Amen. <laughs> a binding love. Yes. Amen. His love is sucker. His love is redeeming. The redeeming love of Jesus Christ. It will change your situation. Yes. Hallelujah. If you're looking for salvation, you're in the right place. If you're looking for hope, you're in the right place. He's got hope for the hopeless. He's got peace in the midst of war. He's got joy for your pain. Amen. He's reaching out to everyone. Yes, you don't have to leave the same way you came. There is hope. For there is a bomb in Gilead drawn from Emmanuel vein. The sinners plunge beneath the flood and lose all their guilt and stain. Yes, amen. His arms is all stretch. There is a fountain. Lord. 